Hello everyone, I'm back. And in this video, I am talking about how to meditate, how to be mindful when you have kids, all right? This is no joke. This is <laughs> one of the most challenging things ever. Um, but I have some very helpful tips to share from my own experience of meditating with two kids. Um, I have a one-year-old and a four-year-old. And, oh my gosh, it's so hard. But, you know, it's taken me a while. It's taken me months to really, I want to say perfect this, but, you know, you can never really perfect anything. Um, but, you know, it's, it's taken me months to really um, find a way through this. And so I just want to share some tips with you guys, okay? So um, the very first tip is to try and meditate in the morning before your kids wake up. Uh, this might be hard for some of you. For me, this was hard to do for a while just because I love my sleep. And so, you know, I usually wouldn't wake up until like one of the kids woke me up. Um, and they wake up early, um, as you guys know. So I would just sort of let them be my alarm clock and then wake up. But if you actually um, get up earlier, make the time to meditate before starting your day and before the craziness of the kids and everything, it's really great. It's just a great way to really set you up for a strong foundation to be able to face the day. It's amazing what 10 minutes of mindfulness, of meditation, of breathing, of silence, oh my gosh, what 10 minutes of silence can do <laughs> um, before being with your kids is really extraordinary, okay? So if you can, if you can um, have 10 minutes for yourself in the morning, highly recommend it, all right? That's the first thing. Um, and number two, something that I do a lot, um, because mornings can be hard for me sometimes, especially if I'm staying up late, um, you know, spending time with my husband at the end of the day or watching a movie, reading, or just, you know, um, relaxing, or I'll have to admit I'm guilty of doing work. Um, something, it's a habit that I'm trying to break, but, you know, sometimes after the kids go to sleep and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can work for two or three hours, you know, I'll do that. I'm trying to break that. Um, and I'm trying to really make um, my meditation a nightly practice as well. So after the kids have gone to sleep, just sort of, um, you know, finding a space wherever you like to meditate and just meditating for 10 minutes. Again, it, all it takes is 10 minutes. Um, when I do this, I find that my sleep is so much more peaceful. And then I kind of feel a little extra boost in the morning. So doing that at night kind of sets me up to feel a little extra boost. Um, which I really like. Um, and so um, I've actually been a lot lately leaning toward doing that meditation practice at night. It's something that just really grounds me, um, gets me kind of in the flow of the night, gets me to stop, um, you know, feeling like I have to work at night. Like, okay, let me do, let me involve myself in a little self-care here and do something that feels good to me. Um, so highly recommend um, either, you know, you could do morning and night together or you could pick one of those, okay, as your time to meditate, all right? Um, so those are two tips. And the last tip I want to say, the third tip, um, bring mindfulness into every interaction with your kids, all right? Be there. Be completely present. Be there completely. When you are with them, just breathe, all right? Remember, whenever you're conscious, whenever you remember to breathe, do a little deep breathing and be fully there with them, all right? Don't be doing other things at the same time and trying to multitask and be with them. When you're there to play with them and do whatever, be with them. Give them your attention. Give them your presence. Give them your focus, all right? It's going to feel good in your body because it's just going to be like, it's going to be like you're cheating almost, like you're cheating the system because you're like meditating and you're with kids. Like how awesome is that? Honestly, when you're doing that, it feels like meditation when you're completely there, because that's what meditation is, right? It's complete presence, um, it's awareness, being in your body, it's breathing, really feeling yourself. So do those things. Be conscious when you are with your kids. Obviously, this is not something that you can do all the time. I know, 
I, I, you know, sometimes it's like I have to do 20 things while I'm with my kids. I have to wash dishes and make a phone call and, and like do other things. Okay. So it's, it's going to happen. That's going to come up. I feel so much better. I feel more in my power. I feel more creative, more alive. Um, just when I'm present, when I'm able to give my kids this focus and this awareness, um, it's a beautiful thing. Um, it benefits everybody. It benefits the entire family. Um, so I highly recommend that. Those are my tips. Um, I hope they work for you. Let me know. And also, um, if you have any tips you want to share, parents who meditate and who are conscious, if you have any tips that you want to share about what you do, let us know in the comments below. Um, would love to gather as many tips as possible because I know that this is a big one. I know um, a lot of parents wonder about this. And a lot of parents just think like, okay, guess I just don't have time to meditate because, you know, I'm with the kids. So, but I, you know what? I'm going <laughs> to, uh, I'm going to tell you, you've got to, you've got to meditate. Um, you know, that's no excuse. All right. It's no excuse having kids. Um, you can do it. You can do it. Make it a practice that goes beyond, beyond the mat, um, beyond um, your, your place where you meditate, your altar, whatever, take it out into the world. Take meditation out into your life. Take it out into your relationships. Do it. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video. Have a great day. I will see you next time. Bye.